noche estuve soñando cosas feas. Sombras, voces, rumores, murmullos que brotan sabrá Dios de dónde. Y yo sin poder dormir, pasaba de un recuerdo a otro, como si la memoria fuera una ruleta. I think the score, the cinematography, the acting, all of it together really perfectly fits. Um, the overall thing that I love the most about this was the motif with the train from the beginning even to the end. So I really liked in the beginning how it was a creative choice to have the quince dresses on the train. I thought that was really cool and seeing how... Um, you know, the daughter is watching it go by and like realizing that she was kind of missed that moment in her life because of her father's passing and the sacrifices she had to make because of it. So I thought that was really sad and also a very good way to visually show that. Um, and then at the end where the train is used as a way for her brother to find freedom in his sexuality, I think that was beautiful as well. So seeing how there was like a give and a take with the same motif was really cool. Um... In a general sense, I think the actors did a great job. They had really great chemistry. I believe they were a family. I believe they were a troubled family. It was a very character-focused, character-driven film, but in this sort of almost surreal world with uh, some magical realism in there. Um, I love that all the characters had their own secrets and everything seemed to be building to this eclipse when everything was going to come to light, it seemed. Um, so there was definitely a suspense there and waiting for that eclipse and everybody's secrets seemingly getting bigger and bigger, um, uh, literally bigger in the case of um, the sister-in-law and her hidden pregnancy. Um, so that was something physical that you could see slowly getting bigger, um, about to come to light. But yeah, I loved all the interactions between the characters Um, the acting was really great. The score was awesome. Um, I loved the monster jellyfish thing that they caught and we never see. So we just get to let our imagination run wild with what exactly they caught. Um, and the really strange perspective shots of this monster viewing the family. It just gave the whole thing a almost supernatural fantasy um, vibe to it. Uh And with the eclipse and sort of the mythology behind that, uh, the moon and the sun fighting each other, much like the family itself has conflict within its, each other. I really liked the music and I think it added a lot to the emotion and overall vibe of the film. And it made it feel very cohesive. And I also really liked um, the kind of parallel scenes that they had where they would show a current event interlocked with a past feeling or memory. Um, they did this in many different scenes and I think it was very clever in that it tied in important details and also to get certain emotions of the characters across. Um, I also really liked the parallel of the eclipse happening with the event of the father's death and I think that they included a lot of parallels throughout the whole story like that and it Um, helps the audience with understanding some backstory, and it's very symbolic. Very beautiful and lush film. Um, it really feels like you're traveling into this other place right from the start. The combination of music and the visuals that really draw you in, the camera movements and everything. Um, it's a really great way to establish the world that the characters are in and the story unfolds, and I think The choice too to have subtitles in the language it really makes it feel like you're flying into another location to uh, watch this story unfold which is really nice